Okay, welcome to our um, introductory video on indices. So our next topic in with Year 8 Maths. What we should hopefully achieve by the end of these lessons is we're going to understand the concept of raising a number to a power. We're going to identify, identify, get that right, the different parts of a number represented in what we call index form. We're going to understand the terms base, exponent, index, and indices, what we mean by indices, and we're going to then represent these numbers in different ways. So index form, expanded form, and as basic numerals. So let's get started. What do we know? Um, well, most of you have probably seen these types of numbers before, where we've got a larger number, bigger in size, and a smaller number, smaller in size, up in the top right-hand side of that number. These are actually numbers that are raised to a power. So 3 to the power of 2, or we know it as 3 squared. We've got 2 to the power of 3. 6 to the power of 4 and 5 to the power of 7. So what we're essentially doing here is we're saying it's 3 times 3, 3 squared. Um, and it's not what some people might know as 3 squared. It's not 3 times 2, where we times these two numbers. So we want to make sure we're not doing that. And we're actually multiplying 3 a number of times. And we'll talk about that in the next slide. Down here, 6 to the power of 4 and 5 to the power of 7, we've just got a longer chain of multiplication. All right, let's, let's, let's break down these numbers. These numbers are two really important parts, the larger number and the smaller number. So the larger number is called, if I can get my pen to work, it's called the, it's called the base. The smaller number is called the it's called the index, or otherwise known as the exponent. And that's where we get this word index form from. So we've got the larger number, which is the base, and then the index or the exponent, um, which is the smaller number at the top right. The key to this is, and I must say it's really, really easy, that the index represents the amount of times the base is multiplied in a chain. So 3 squared actually equals 3 times 3. So we'll actually see the base multiplied by itself in a chain and we'll see two of it, that base number twice. So 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 3. That's an index form. So this whole, when we see numbers represented with this 3 to the power of 2 or 3 squared, this is what we call index form and that's going to be really critical okay there's three ways that we're going to need to represent we can represent indices now um, indices is is just the plural of of index so when we look at index form we talk about indices as being the, pr the plural okay so how do we represent numbers in index form well we just showed that it's three squared that's index form where we actually have the index and the base there what we're actually doing here, if we think about this, we're actually simplifying. This is what we call simplifying. So what we'll, we'll do is we'll simplify it into its simplest form. 3 squared would be. The other way we can do it is we're going to expand this. And in expanded form, we're actually writing this as the multiplication chain. So 3 squared will actually be 3 times 3. So we've got the base multiplied by itself and two times in the chain. So that's expanded form. And this is what we know as when we're doing expanding. Um, we'll actually write it just like that. And the last one is the basic numeral. We're basically just calculating this. So 3 times 3, that actually equals 9. All right, let's look at some examples. 2 to the power of 3. Let's write that in expanded form. Well. So our base is 2, and our index is 3. So how do we write that in expanded form? Well, we're going to multiply 2 by itself, and we're going to have three 2s in the chain. So 2 times 2 times 2. That's really easy. Something like 6 to the power of 4 that we saw in the, uh, in the other one. Well, if we were to expand that out, the base is 6, so it's 6, and we're going to multiply itself in a chain, oh, not four, Mr. Lakers, six. So it's 
six six by itself four times. All right, the next one we're going to look at is how we can go back the other way and rewrite that in, in uh, index form. So we've got three times three times three times three in index form. Okay, A. Well, that's three multiplied by itself. So we've got one, two, three, four. So that will be the base will be three and the index will be four. And B, now we're going to evaluate the answer as a basic numeral. Okay. So now we're going to actually just calculate the answer. So 3 to the power of 4, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is actually 81. So if we wanted to, if we needed to calculate or evaluate the answer, the answer to this would be 81. All right, well, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've, uh, we've been able to cover those learning intentions, and we'll see you again soon.